Hi, my name is John Lambie and I'm going to explain to you how to use the set My First Emotions. This is a quick demo and for more details uh, see the pack. This doll here is going to be my daughter Sophie and she's going to help me with the demo. Now the first thing that you need to remember is this talk about emotions. Um, it's a good thing to talk about emotions with your children. Um, don't be worried about it. Um, it's a helpful thing. It helps children to cope with emotions. So I might say to my daughter, you know what, Sophie, I was a bit sad this morning because my parcel didn't come for my party and that made me feel a bit sad. How are you feeling today? And she might say, I'm feeling sad. And I might say, Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Sophie. So talking about emotions is a, is a really good thing. Step two is validating emotions. Now, what does that mean? So validating emotions is actually identifying your child's emotions and uh, normalising them in some way. Um, and so if Sophie says that she feels cross, uh, I might say, Oh, I can see you look cross, Sophie. Um, I know it's difficult when your um, brother takes your toy. Um, I get cross when someone takes my things. So what I'm doing there is two things. I'm identifying the emotion, saying you look cross, and I'm normalising it by saying that I get cross as well when people take my things. So emotional validation is reflecting back your child's emotions to them. Now important thing to remember is this, all feelings are allowed, not all behaviour is allowed. So you're validating feelings and not necessarily behaviour. So I might say, I can see that you're really cross, Sophie. Um, remember though, no hitting is allowed. Uh, tell your brother how you feel with your words, not your fists. That would be an example of validating the feeling, but not the um, actual behaviour. Not other. So what's Step three is using Robbie the Puppet. So this set, My First Emotions, comes with Robbie the Puppet and he comes with a set of different emotion toys. We have happiness, we have sadness, we have fear, we have anger and we have love. Um, and you can use Robbie to talk about these emotions and say, how are you feeling today, Robbie? And he might say, I'm very happy. And um, we might use the happiness toy to put in Robbie's pouch. And there he is, he's very happy. But Robbie might be scared. Uh, Robbie might tell me that he's scared. Why are you scared, Robbie? I'm scared because I saw a monster at my window. Oh dear, there's the fear toy. And maybe we, we say that Robbie feels scared. Oh dear, that's, I'm sorry to hear you're scared, Robbie. Maybe we should just go and check. Do you want me to check with you? Um, so we're talking about fear and we're using the different emotion toys to talk about emotions. We might say, how are you feeling, Sophie? And she might be feeling happy and pick the happy toy to um, demonstrate that. Okay, so that brings me, my whistle stop tour, to the emotion books. Read the emotion books. This set comes with five emotion books. Fear, scared, oh, that's the activity book. Happy, love, anger, sadness. Um, so you can read the book with your child. And um, if I pick fear, there is a story in here actually where Robbie is scared of the monster. And um, his daddy says, I see it scared you. Hold my hand and we'll look together. Um, Daddy drew back the curtain and said, look, it's just an owl. Um, and the story helps the child to see how they might cope with an emotion. And also the um, parent tries to validate the emotion in the stories. Uh, another thing that you can do is using the emotion cards. So we have some story cards here. Uh, and you can make stories out of them. Here's a card where an ice cream has fallen down. And you might say to Sophie, how do you think that, um, 
how do you think that uh, Robbie feels when the ice cream, uh, his favourite ice cream, has uh, fallen down? So you might make up a story about that. How do you feel when you get a, a nice present? How do you feel when somebody knocks the bricks over um, that you're playing with? So the cards allow you to make different stories. Maybe you're scared of the snake. Um, maybe you're sad that somebody has uh, um, knocked your ice cream over. Um, so you make up stories and ask your child how they're feeling at different points and how the characters are feeling. So there's lots of fun you can have with the stories. Um, the final thing you can do in motion activities, um, there is an activity book uh, with lots of ideas of games that you can uh, do with your child. And for example, um, we might make an emotion-ometer um, together, or we might just play a game of emotional peekaboo where I'm hiding my face and doing different, different emotional expressions. So there you have it, that's the end of the video. It's my first emotions. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas of how to use it. Bye-bye.